Okay, so we are on the floor because that is how I did all my other unboxings and it's just really helpful because these boxes are big and it's hard to show y'all. So this is the outer box. It is huge. Like look at this <laughs> compared to me. I've gotten the Chloe Woody slides and the Chloe Drew bag and those boxes were <laughs> so much tinier than this. I have taken it out of the big box it came in just because it had my address on it, but this is the bag box and I always save these because it's great for when you move or just keeping the purse safe. So inside, let's open it up. It's like a, it's like a present. It's a, it's literally all my favorite colors. It's cream, it's white, it's pink. Oh, they're just packaged so pretty. I almost hate to unbox it because I don't want to mess it up, but we must get to the bag. So there's a little Chloe sticker. It came with an envelope, which I'm just guessing is a receipt and a return label. Okay, we're one step closer. So opening this dust bag. It's tied. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh! It is definitely smaller than I thought it would be given the size of the outer box, but I think this is, I debated between this one and the large. I think this is the perfect size for me and I'm hoping my laptop will fit. We will see. I'll turn it around this way. Oh. oh! So I got this in the brown leather, and I also pre ordered this in the beige leather, and I. Oh, I was kind of just impatient and didn't want to wait for the beige because beige is so my color, but I also think the brown kind of goes with more because it's. Oh, I don't know. Neutrals. I don't know. I don't know. I can't decide. Leave me a comment down below if I should keep this one or the one with neutrals. I cannot. Oh, it's just so stunning. I can't imagine sending this back and waiting longer for the tan or even worse, waiting until the tan one comes in, which isn't for like a month and not using this. I think that'd be impossibly hard. So it comes with some stuffing, which I actually think I might keep because this is really good to help keep the bags shaped when you're not using it. And it really is just a tote bag. This is one of the more, I don't want to say inexpensive because it's definitely not inexpensive. I think this retails for a little over a thousand, but compared to like the Dior book tote, it is definitely not quite that expensive. I think the book tote is like three times this price. And personally, I prefer Chloe. So I just think this is the perfect bag. I got this to be my work bag. The only thing is I also got the Woody slides. I would feel weird wearing the Woody slides and this purse. I think that's a little too much Chloe, but I just, oh, it's so stunning. I am very, very happy. I'm very happy. Look at this. Oh, Chloe. And then inside it is just one, it has one main pocket with one smaller pocket that has the certification card in it, I believe, if I were to guess, and the care instructions, yeah, the authenticity card, which is not filled out. So is it really an authenticity card? If it's just, I guess I have to like put that info in, I don't know. All right, I always save this in case I resell the bag and I just keep it in the box, such a good storage method. But yeah, this is my new, Chloe, and I actually have some surprising news. This is not the only new Chloe. I have been shopping on the Real Real, and I'm so excited to show you two new Chloe bags that I got secondhand. I got them for such a great deal, and I'm just so excited to grow my collection. When I wear a bag like this, it just makes me feel so confident, so put together. I truly buy this for the design and not really the label. I just love how it looks, and yeah, I'm very happy. All right, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out as a small comment creator. Go ahead and leave me a comment down below telling me what bag is going to be next on your list or what you think I should look at. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.